Hi guys, good morning. I look like crap, we're used to that by now, hello. I decided to vlog this weekend since we have two things going on. And I also kind of just wanted to rant and complain a little bit. I know, complaining on the internet, not the best idea, but I, if, it's nice to talk it out and get it off my chest and stuff. And then when I edit the video later, it kind of feels like I can see what I'm trying to say. You know, I don't know if it makes any sense at all. But, hi, welcome to the weekend vlog. If you want to give me a thumbs up on this video, I'd appreciate it. I do a shop, theopencrypt.com. Now let's talk about my depression. <laughs> okay. And before we can talk about my depression and everything, because it's been bad this week. Okay, that's not... The room's messy. It's fine. Um, this weekend, I'm going to review some foundations, which is fun. I love reviewing foundations. They don't get the best views, but I don't even care because I love reviewing foundations. I love foundation. Like, it's... It's so good. Um, so I have a couple of those things to review this weekend. We're going to go have ramen, hot pot ramen for dinner tonight. Hopefully. I mean, I know Cortland has some schoolwork to do and stuff. But I'm hoping he's going to push that off till Sunday since he's like already ahead for a week and stuff. Um, hoping to get ramen. It's like my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Even after our wedding, we went to go get ramen there because I love hot pot ramen. Like the conveyor belt of cups spinning around you grab what you want for your ramen broth and you go up to the little counter and you get little meats and stuff and you put it on your grill in front of you it's just a really intimate sweet dinner thing if you don't have one near you go out of the way to go to one that they're amazing yeah so we're gonna do that tonight and then tomorrow saturday we're gonna watch scream we're gonna watch scream i'm excited i've seen this theory going around that Stu's the killer but we all know Stu's dead question mark <laughs> okay so uh, that's just the theory i've heard i don't know um i know a couple of you guys told me that you were watching it last night which was thursday night and i'm very happy for y'all going on premiere night that's awesome but we had to wait um yeah courtland's gone back to school this week and it's been like okay he's been very considerate of my mental state and loneliness he has most of his classes during his work day like uh, during his break from work during the day which is very sweet of him to do that. And then on Thursdays, he's uh, 5.30 to 8.30. He's in class, so I can't disturb. I have to be quiet. Um, but that's been really different this week. Been very different, and it's like a whole new thing I have to get used to. Because I'm a creature of routine. You know, the fact that I can't, like, spend time with him and bug him when he gets home from work is going to be something to get used to. Because I get lonely very easily, and I am alone all day, typically. Um, in the house because I work from home so that's different I've been very uh depressed like I was crying in bed last night just like I have nothing to live for besides my cats because they wouldn't understand what would happen to me if I wasn't here and keep in mind when you're seeing this it's days after I'm recording this and I'm not looking for a pity party I'm just talking it out like let's be real about how we feel about things I I don't know where my life is going not everything is about money, not everything is about views. My views have been so pfft, lately that it makes me feel like this isn't a something I can keep doing. Um, and I want to keep doing it, obviously. I physically, for like health and everything, don't know if I could hold a regular uh, job anymore. I'm not the healthiest person on the planet. And I have a couple things that prevent me from doing that normally. So this has been like the ideal dream job. And I love my job. I really do. Like, I look, I don't have many things to look forward to, but I do look forward to like, ooh, there's this new thing I want to try out. Ooh, I get to test out this today. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I, I love my job very much, but the views have been... <laughs> and I know not every video is going to be someone's cup of tea and not, you know, every video is going to do well. And it's just part of the game, but I feel like nothing has really done well lately for me. And it's just a downward spiral and it's just getting to me mentally even though it's not technically that big of a deal. But this is my job. You know, you got to worry about your job. I feel like that's a valid thought to have. Um, and then also, like, what am I? What do I have looked forward to in my regular life? Like, we plan to buy a house this year, which is amazing. And thankfully, he was in the military, so it makes it a little bit easier as far as home loans go. But... I'm still scared of how much money it's going to cost. And I'm scared of... If it's a housing... We buy a house this year. Let's say we find a beautiful house this year when we buy it. It's not going to be very big. <laughs> you know, I'm not trying to have a high mortgage forever. Just in case anything ever does happen with him or me or anything. I don't want an expensive house. Don't want it. You know? 
But if the housing market, let's we buy one this year and then the housing market crashes, we're still paying a high mortgage because we bought it during a high time. It just seems like really risky. You know, like you can't just wait for something to crash. But the housing market is so inflated, like how could it not crash? So if we buy one now, we're paying a high mortgage. Just because the, the, the market crashes doesn't mean that our house is going to be the same value we're paying for it then, you know? I'm mean, just, it's a lot of financial doodads and stuff. And then also there's going to be things we're going to need to upgrade. A lot of things in Florida are like ranch style or just very cookie cutter homes or kind of a beachy theme. They're never like really, <laughs> they're never really great beautiful houses unless you're willing to spend like $400,000 on a house, which I'm not. Um, so yeah, there's gonna be things I need to do like paint and, you know, change out carpet for vinyl flooring and stuff. Like all those things are gonna add up. Some houses don't come with appliances and then like closing fees and everything. It's gonna be an expensive process and that just kind of freaks me out a little bit. But what freaks me out more than that is wasting money on rents when there's an option that we don't have to and we're investing in something for ourselves and our future. So that's the only thing I've looked forward to is getting a home. And that seems like a lot of stress too, you know? Like, big things stress me out. I'm a creature of habit, but I feel like that would be a good choice for us if we do decide to go that route this year. Um, so yeah. I'm just I'm just freaked out because like I feel like my, my channel isn't doing well. I've only had one $10 order for my shop this entire week, which I'm, I'm grateful for that $10 order, don't get me wrong. Um, but I put a lot of effort, energy, and money into my shop. And then some weeks like this, I feel like I'm just failing drastically. And I feel like that's a valid thing to feel. And also the Etsy thing. It was it was not easy. It's, like it's a lot of work listing each item and everything. I'm paying for advertisements and it's not really doing anything for me. So I don't know. Like the shop feels like it's, it's dying. And I'm not needing to be more innovative and create new products. Not just the same things, different scents. I need to create whole new products and stuff. But I'm drowning more money into it that I might not get back. So it's very sketchy. I'm sorry I ranted for this long. I didn't mean for this to be a long ranting thing. But that's where my mind is at. Also, I ordered from Sephora to try to give myself a little bit of serotonin. I ordered the new Charlotte Tilbury foundation from Sephora. They have one day delivery. It's $6, but it was worth it because I don't feel like driving across town. <laughs> so that should be here today. And then also the Jacqueline Hill order that I placed for the skin tint and concealer through Ulta because I got that Ulta credit card should be here today as well it was supposed to be here tomorrow Saturday but it's gonna be here today so I'm wondering which one should I review first I'm leaning towards the Jacqueline Hill one first it depends on what time uh UPS drops it off if it drops it off like after noon I'm not gonna review it today obviously I need to do a long wear test with it but if it drops it off soon then we should be good so I don't know I'm gonna test those two new foundations I'm very excited about it that's it. That's it. I'm going to clean the house today. Like, I'm pretty good for the weekend. I have no video going out today, which is Friday. Um, I have a video that should be approved for tomorrow, Saturday. Sunday, I'll probably have that Jacqueline Hill video going up if I can get that done today. Or the Charlotte Hill really one. Which one ever I get done. Um, and then, yeah. So, my weekend for work is pretty much set, I think. I just have a lot on my mind lately. I just, the existential crisis of like what is going on with my life is real. So I'm going to clean the house. We have a nice clean house for the weekend. Yeah. I'm going to try to buy a puffer fish this weekend too. If we can like go to the pet store and get a puffer fish. I want a puffer fish. What's wrong, Akasha? Akasha, what's wrong, honey? You want to get your hot sauce? Yeah? Honey, what's wrong? <laughs> You're fine, babe. I know. Okay, so package was required on the Jacqueline Hill stuff. I checked them. They look like they're a good shade for me. I was really worried because I'm the worst at picking out shades for myself. Like, I, seven out of ten times will probably pick the wrong shade for myself. These look pretty good. I'm kind of proud. So, yeah, I'm going to do my eye makeup now. I'm redoing the laundry I washed earlier because uh, the Tide Pod didn't dissolve. So that's kind of weird, but I'm just redoing it with no Tide Pod in there now. Just, like, extra rinsing. Hopefully that fixes it. But, yeah. 
and go do my eye makeup. And then we're going to review the foundation and stuff. We'll do the try on portion anyways. Okay, I just finished my Jaclyn Hill review. I didn't do a long wear test of this because it's... You'll see that video before you see this one, so you know. The concealer is just a mess. I just saw the delivery person with my Sephora bag. I'm going to wipe this makeup off and try to do that video today too. But also, since I finished this Jaclyn Hill one, it could probably go out today since I don't have a video going out today. So I'm going to wipe this makeup off, edit this video as quickly as humanly possible, and try to put it up. And then we'll try out the other review. It is only 12.36, and I'm going to be out on it anyways. I do have time to review the other foundation today. So I'm going to take this off, let my skin rest for a little bit, do some editing as fast as possible, and then test out the other foundation today. I didn't think I'd get this much done today. Like, I really have been such a that I haven't gotten anything done. But I feel like this is, this is, this is it's, it's going to be a good productive day. It's going to be a good productive day, you guys. Except this found, this concealer is garbage. <laughs> Okay, so I'm mid-filming the Charlotte Tilbury video. I got the other Jaclyn Hill one up pretty quickly. It only took me like 40 minutes to edit it. And while I was uh, listening to myself, because it didn't require that much chopping up, I made the thumbnail and put it up and everything. So that's amazing. I upgraded my editing software so it exports quicker now, which is awesome. Because normally it would take me like an hour or two just to export it. But it went up. It's very nice and i'm mid doing the other video already and it's only two o'clock like getting so much done today normally it'd be taking me like i'd be getting one video done for the day right now um so the fact that i was like rushing this really <laughs> it really helped so i'm gonna do like my face for this do the reveal and then for the rest of the day i'm gonna be filming this vlog as well as the wear time test for the foundation Yay! I don't know. I just, I'm surprised I got so much done. I have been so out of it that I haven't got as much done recently. And I'm not used to getting two videos done. Let alone three, because, well, a third of this one since we're doing the whole weekend. It, a very accomplishing day so far. And I think once I do the wear time test and I let this sit on my face and I have nothing else to do, I'll probably be done with this portion of the video by three. Of, like, finishing my face and talking about my first impressions of the foundation. Probably be done with that by three and I'll be able to get a little bit done around the house before my husband gets home and we go to dinner. So very good. It's, it's such an accomplishing day today, you know? Hi, so it's a little after 4 p.m. now. I'm going to edit the first half of this Charlotte Tilbury video since I obviously haven't finished it yet. Um, and I'm also going to look on Trulia just to see what the, you know, what the houses that are available right now. I know I'm not shopping right now, but I want to get a general feel for like what side of town to go on. So I'm going to do that for the next hour. And then we'll see what happens when my husband gets home. We might go just a hot pot right then or we might chill out for a little bit and wait till a little later in the day. But usually if we go like seven or so we have to wait like an hour in there you can't make reservations ahead of time you gotta wait an hour in the car outside of the building before your table is ready that's so annoying i wish we could just book ahead but they don't do that okay vlog he doesn't know i'm vlogging Hello, husband. Um, we're vlogging the weekend again. And we're going to go out to eat. We're going to eat ramen. Spicy ramen time, yay? What? Well, I guess for you. I, don't I, get, the, I get the spicy. I like the spicy. And all the cats have their cute little dinners because it's the weekend. We have to wait an hour for Hot Pot because he wouldn't take me earlier. I told you we should have came earlier. We're going to be eating at the same time. We're going to be eating at 8. So instead, you'd rather eat at like five? I'd rather eat at like six than not to wait an hour in the car. Whatever. Right. 
Good morning vlog. My hair's a mess. I just took a shower. It is what it is. It's okay if I look like crap. Anyways, today we're not doing anything super exciting. We're gonna clean the fish tank. Maybe we'll buy a new fish. And we're gonna see Scream tonight, but that's like tonight tonight. So I don't think there's anything fun going on today. Okay, hi, I'm bad at vlogging. I forgot we went, I forgot to vlog. We went to Target in the pet store. We got a scrubby brush to clean, you know, this algae on the fish tank and stuff like that. And then to just do a water change. It's easier just to buy gallons of water rather than do the sink water because the Florida water here is very metally. So I got a whole <laughs> table full of water. We're going to do that. And then hopefully later we're going to the fish store, a different, like a different pet store, and get some little crawdads or lobsters because they eat algae and stuff. And uh, maybe a puffer fish. A little baby puffer fish. Okay, so I'm panic doing my face as quickly as possible I'm using the Jacqueline skin tint so it doesn't look like I did a full face today. I'm panicked doing my face because he told his dad and stepmom that they can come over and drop over his gifts without running it by me first and I didn't want to put makeup on today and I can't have someone seeing my real face. I like I let thousands of people see my real face on the internet but people who know me as one face mm -mm, mm -mm, can't see my, my can't see my real face so I gotta do this real quickly. so we're back from scream it was great right honey yep it was great it was great no spoilers but it was great okay um very self-aware movie and now we're gonna watch fight club because he hasn't seen fight club in a long time and i feel like that's a sin it's an excellent movie good morning vlog it's sunday um it's rainy day today so i don't think much is gonna get done however we woke up and our crawfish are dead that we bought yesterday which sucks for two reasons. One, we did a lot of research before we bought them and they're hardy creatures, they should have lived. Um, and two, they were $45 for two of them. So, because we wanted the native Florida crawfish and those are the ones that said they were easy to maintain and they're dead. So I'm sad, um, but we're just gonna chill out today. I need to do some editing for today's video that's gonna go out, which is the new Charlotte Tilbury Foundation. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. It's rainy and bleh, so I don't see much getting done. But I'm sad about the crawfish. Hi, I know I'm in the same place you saw me this morning, um, but it's several hours later. It's like 2.15 p.m. We went to the pet store um, to get some kind of bubbler thing to add oxygen to the tank in case the crawfish needed more oxygen or something when we had them and they died. Rip. Right? Water. We need oxygen? Yeah. So we bought a big bubbly tube. It came out to 100. It's a really tall tank, so... It's a tall tank, but they can crawl. They were climbing all over the thing last night. Um, so hopefully this fixes it. It was a hundred and something dollars though. So fish tanks are expensive. Like we spent hundreds of hundreds of dollars on this fish tank for the, the cats to watch fish. Yeah, but once you, once you get it set up and you get it like going good, you don't really have to worry about it, honestly. Well, once you get it going good, but and we the, keep the, doing the, different the things. The bigger the tank, usually the, the easier it is to get like the, the less goes wrong because in smaller tanks when, when something starts going it just cascades downhill after that but a bigger tank yeah we more keep water we keep upgrading the tank to a bigger size one with a stand one with different rocks but in it instead of a the boat the issue is we got a 37 gallon but it's tall not wide not wide so there's not a whole lot of uh without a bubbler your water exchanges at the surface but there's not a lot of water surface so there's not a lot i get of that but i like the rounded bowed front on this one no, it looks beautiful, so I just think we need to introduce a little bit more oxygen in there and hopefully it should be a little bit better. The fish are everything fine. Everything else tested okay. The fish are fine. The frogs that jump to the top of the tank are fine. Yeah. It's, it's just the things that sleep just at on the, the bottom. bottom of the tank, you might not have good oxygen. Yeah, so that's what we're doing today. It's basically that we're going to play Overwatch. I'm going to edit a little bit while we're queuing for games, and he's going to do some schoolwork. Yay, fun. Where? <laughs> it's not very fun. All right, so I just did some editing stuff. I didn't make the thumbnail yet. Edited while we were queuing for games, played a little bit of Overwatch for a while, 
and now it's nighttime outside. It's all dark and gloomy, and it's been a kind of rainy day today anyway, so it hasn't really been like the most productive in the world. However, we're cleaning the, you know, cat litter, cleaning a little bit of the house, taking the trash out, and then we're gonna chill and watch the Master Chef for the rest of the night, have some teriyaki bowls for dinner. We bought little kits so we can make them at home and save money rather than ordering Japanese food all the time. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't really the most exciting kind of vlog in the world, um, but that's just a normal weekend, you know? I need to wash my hair. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye. Have a good one.